Hi, Amanda here from Travel Outback Australia with this week's Outback Travel News. Here I am at Flynn's Grave, just out of Alice Springs on quite a windy afternoon. We've had some rain this week in Central Australia, which is really good because it's brought the temperatures right down. On this week's edition of Outback Travel News, I've got a destination guide that's great for Outback beginner travellers and five essential tips to help you travel safely to that place. We've got some import, an important announcement for people planning on crossing the Simpson Desert next year, that's 2013. Some truly unique Outback tours from right here in Alice Springs. And finally, some great Qantas summer Outback flight specials. We've just come back from the Udna Data track. You probably know if you're a regular reader of the website or our Facebook page that it's our favourite Outback track. It's also the best track for beginners to have a go at travelling into a remote location, trying their hand at a great Outback track and doing some bush camping. One of the reasons we recommend the, Out the Udna Data track for beginners is that it's a very big, smooth outback track. It's not really even a track, it's more a gravel road. It's great for families because there's a lot to see and do, there's places to stop and swim, there's old railway buildings to stop and explore, and the peak telegraph station ruins as well. You can also take side trips to Lake Eyre and hop out to Cooper Pedy. The Udna Data Track is located in Outback South Australia. It begins at Maree and is just about 600 kilometres long and finishes at Marla. It's a great alternative to the Stewart Highway if you're, if you're travelling to or from the Northern Territory and you don't even have to camp on it. You can stay in accommodation at Maree, William Creek and Udna Data. Although it's possible to do it in one day, we really recommend that you take your time and see quite a few things along the way. So three days, two nights is probably the, the premium time that you should spend on the track. So here's five quick tips to help you travel safely on the Udna Data track. First of all, your vehicle. Although you can do it in a two-wheel drive, we really recommend that you use a four-wheel drive. The reason for this is if there's any rain or any rough patches, you'll be able to sail over them smoothly. The second tip is tyres. Make sure you carry two spares, or if you don't, at least have the ability to repair one. And most importantly, know how to change the tyres. Tip number three spare parts. At a minimum take radiator, spare radiator hoses and spare fan belts. Even if you don't know how to change them, the track gets enough traffic that somebody will come along and know how to change them for you. And it's an awful hell of a lot cheaper than getting a very expensive outback tow truck recovery. Tip number four communications. Carry a satellite telephone or a UHF radio. The Udna Data Track is well serviced by UHF radio repeaters. Last week I talked about the VKS 737 radio network. You can access that network all the way along the Udna Data Track. And the final tip is water. Make sure you take at least 10 litres per person per day and a little bit more just in case you need to fill up your radiator. In other news this week, an update for people thinking about crossing the Simpson Desert next year. If you're planning on doing this, it's a good idea to book your satellite phone now. You can hire a sat phone from Mount Dare Station, which is on the western side of the Simpson Desert. However, they only have 15 sat phones, so it's a good idea to book early, especially in school holiday times. They can be returned at either end of the crossing, and the cost is around $140 for four days hire. Check the link below for more details. If you're coming to Alice Springs and looking for some unique tours, we can recommend Central Oz Motorcycle Tours. Al Barnett is one of the better known tourist guides here in Alice Springs and he's been doing tours for over 20 years. You'll be able to take a ride on a Harley or design your own four-wheel drive adventure. No matter what, you'll be able to experience the outback with a real local and visit places that many other tours don't go. 
The last item we've got for you this week is some great Outback flight specials from Qantas between the 14th of January and the 28th of March 2013. You can fly from Sydney, Brisbane or Melbourne to Alice Springs or Uluru for $249. Check the link below for details. That's it for this week's Outback Travel News. We'll see you next week somewhere else in the Outback. Have a safe week. See ya.